hi guys welcome to another video guys welcome to another session on coaching Heyman equation guys today we are doing uh, another example actually for the sufficient uh, uh, conditions for differentiability so i don't think i need to show uh, to explain the overview again as i did explain on the previous video if you did not catch that one please do search uh, the first part of uh, the sufficient conditions of um what do you call this uh differentiability so for now let us just go through and have an example straight on um guys as i said uh, in the first video on uh coach Rema, that we allow you guys to give us suggestions on the type of questions you want us to do and um, we will definitely do that uh, another thing is that we have changed in our way of um, approaching things uh, we have seen that proving theorems is not really something that we can do uh, since the, the proof of theorems are found in a textbook so it's something which we'll do away with and if you feel like you do need help with that you can contact us on our uh, 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 on, on, on our email address and send us an email to tell us about certain things but for now let us just con uh, go through with this and see uh, uh, how we can approach this one using the sufficient conditions of differentiability now looking at these guys uh, they say we should determine where the derivative exists and find its value okay so we'll do what we know best so let us uh, uh, write down our solution so now <clears throat> we know that fz is equals to 1 over z is the same as us writing 1 over x plus i y okay so we're gonna introduce the complex conjugate which is x minus iy x minus iy thus this will just become x over uh, x squared plus y squared minus i all over y over x squared plus y squared okay so my handwriting is a bit terrible guys sorry about that okay let me let me do this actually okay so i think that is better yeah so uh, we can clearly see that uh, our u x y is given by x over x squared plus y squared and our v x y is given by negative y over x squared plus y squared okay so we do have that so we know we're going to look for our uh, uh, partial derivatives okay of u with respect to x first so let us find u x okay so so this one is going to be a bit tricky so we'll use um, the quotient rule x plus y or x squared plus y squared and then the derivative of uh, this one with respect to x is 1 minus now we leave this one derivative of this one with respect to x is 2x so here since now we have 2x squared uh, it's a negative and this one is dead so we're gonna have y squared minus x squared divided by x squared plus y squared so this becomes the derivative but if you can check very well guys there's a condition here that x squared plus y squared should not be equal to a zero because if x squared plus y squared is equal to zero then this is not going to work out okay so let us check for uh, the derivative with respect to y so ui is equal to now we use the same idea oh this is squared actually x squared plus y squared squared so we have x plus y or x squared plus y squared and then the derivative of the top function with respect to uh, y is zero because this is just x minus we leave x and then the derivative of this one is 2y so the solution hence becomes negative 2xy over x squared plus y squared and we can see that the same condition comes up again x squared plus y squared should not be equal to zero okay so now we're gonna come here and then we have vx so 
now we are looking at the function of v with respect to x so now guys i don't think i i should just write the whole thing over and over again but what i know is that uh since we are finding a derivative it means that the coach riemann equations must be met then if that is true then this would be equals to negative of that so it's going to be 2xy over x squared plus y squared and our vy will just be equals to y squared minus x squared all over x squared plus y squared where all our conditions are going to have uh, x squared plus y squared is equals to or should not be equals to zero okay so now the other thing that i'm going to do is since we know that uh, the coach riemann equations exist and they, they they are satisfied we should always remember that the derivative is also there okay now oh 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 first thing first i need to square everything here yes now the first derivative will be equal to uh, the partial of v with respect to x plus i the partial of v with respect to x so that is another part that i'm thinking of uh skipping but eh, let's just just not there uh, so our first derivative with respect uh, oh, it's equals to now our vx is this one and ux is this one so we're gonna have y squared minus uh x squared plus 2xy divided by oh this uh, 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 uh this this term here has an i okay this term here has an i divided by x squared plus y squared and everything squared okay so this here at the top we can write it as uh, a negative and have what x squared minus now y squared so we're gonna have negative 2x Okay, i x y uh, minus y squared divided by x squared plus y squared and everything squared. Okay, so we can see that this one at the top represents something that we know very well. We can rewrite the, the part at the top as negative. So x minus i y and square that divided by. Now, x squared plus y squared is just multiplication of uh, a, 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 a complex number and its conjugate a complex number and its conjugate so that's why i can i can write it like this okay so the one at the top is also a complex conjugate so it becomes negative conjugate squared divided by uh, the complex number multiplied by its conjugate squared where this and that they will give us one and our answer is negative one over the complex number squared okay now the thing that you need to understand is that since this is the only solution we have then our complex number should not be equal to zero and that concludes our solution for this question guys so the derivative of uh, uh or the derivative value of this thing it is equal to negative 1 over z squared where our z is not equal to 0 okay so for us to answer this this first question where they say we should determine where this thing exists is that it exists everywhere except where our z is equal to 0 where our complex number is equal to 0 okay guys so i really hope that you understand the ideas that we are using here if you don't please leave a comment under the comment section and um I will make sure that me and my team will get back to you uh, in a speed uh, of light so <laughs> um, guys i really hope that you are gonna enjoy this video if you came this far please hit the like button please comment please subscribe and please share thank you very much guys